All right, Riley, you're the one I'm afraid of. I don't think I need to buy a single thing except the propulsion system because of the fact that, uh, well, I didn't use anything just now. I'll buy another one of these guys. In fact... I can put those in the mule. You cut- you start off with the psych- Hang on. Yeah, you have the psychoscope. You're the only person that needs one of those. Think I'm good? Rally starts off with a psychoscope, so they should be good for the one goal they have to do. I'm gonna jam the time delays in the mule, because then they just have them for the future characters, too. And I'll take one out as needed. All right. Can't wait for this to be over, because I'm like, just, I'm in my don't fuck it up mindset. Why is Escape Mass Driver the only option? Uh... I don't like that. Don't scare me. Why is it the only option? But, uh... Trying to go with one that doesn't break, hopefully. Uh, I'm plop you guys in there real quick. What do I want to take with me? Side hypos are good, ammo is good, food items are good, suit repair, disruptor batteries are kind of necessary, healing. I uh, need the stun gun. It'd be good to go. I guess I'm just gonna... Oh, wait. Ah, there we go. Okay. So it, it had to realize that I'm playing as her. Apparently, if you press... Invent, if you open the menu immediately, the game's like, uh, excuse me? I'm not ready for you. Come back later. I just walked into him and he said, ow. I'm pretty sure. Avoid shotgun avoiding him. I guess this one's already loaded. All right. All right. For some reason, I wasn't sprinting. I was just walking and then boosting every now and then. All right. So step one: get to workstation, which is in crew quarters. No, I mean Pythi Slabs. It's in my quarters, is what I meant to say. What's up with these symbols? Are these enemies I've pre-scanned or something? Ah, uh, shit. Get behind cover. Specifically trying to get behind rocks. Am I clear to go? Neat. We spent a lot of time in Pythus Labs. I'm on my fourth consecutive character, and it's my fourth consecutive character that has to go into, into Pythias Labs. It's a heavy emphasis. There would be less if I if if the person who I would have gone in here less if the person who repairs the the door to the portal if that person, uh, escaped in the portal. But I had the other guy do that. Alright, so now I need to go to the top floor. Which means encountering some bad guys along the way. Also, this ki this area probably regenerated enemies. Or not. I should check to see if there's a control module in here, because there usually is. Hello. I really should check this place earlier. It usually has stuff that's related to what I want. Oh, yeah. There's often a control module, like, right here. Hmm. 
Nah. Neuro mods. Nope. Yep. Well, there's sometimes a control module around here. There wasn't this time. Uh, have I looted you yet? Nope. Why am I picking up recycle items? You dummy. Anyone that approaches me gets a shotgun blast to the face. Hooray. I will always love the propulsion system. Fuck. That hurt. More than I probably should have. Narrow mods. Ooh, Q-beam. Not a very good one, but it's there. That's my workstation. Hello. Another one of these guys. I love the... I do kind of love this rapid-fire... Like, psycho exploration I'm doing. Where you just try to rapidly just run through all the shit. Uh, but doing... What is her password? I always click on it too fast. I have to do the audio? I have to do the whole play video? Things on Talos 1 are becoming untenable. It's time to set contingencies we've discussed into motion. I need you to copy everything you've got onto the vault operator I sent you. The research, connectons, everything. Hello. Morgan was right. The Typhon are all linked. Which means whatever's happening up here will likely spread to you. If it hasn't already. And this should go without saying that we keep the board out of the loop on this. They'll find out soon enough anyway. Get it done. We'll talk again soon. Oh, and Riley, be careful. I'm fairly certain you've got at least one Chasma mole working for you. Hello. Hello. Alright, got a whole bunch of stuff. You successfully copied all the Pythias pro- Really? What? Before you launch that operator, I need you to take one last precaution. You have the emulation tech Morgan was tinkering with. Use it. Why is this so easy? Uh, wow. Experiment without making noise. I mean, I could. I'm never gonna use this character again, though. Yourself. I know it seems morbid. But we can't shrink from the reality that you might not make it off the moon. I'm really weirded out by how this quick this was. Something is left of our family. Take back my ammo. This is weird. Okay. Let's see what I can fit in there. It's not going to be a lot. Uh, sort by type. Okay, I don't need that many stun guns for sure. I don't even really need a wrench when I got this guy here. What? Oh, you suck. Five to ten damage? Never mind, you blow. That thing does way more damage. I just thought a laser blade would do more damage than a wrench by default. I got ten neuromods to give to my overbuilt uh, VJ guy. He doesn't even use neuro. He can't even use that, can he? Whatever. Food, food, repair item, Typhon Spore. It's just some food items, doesn't really matter. Should I give him this element piece? A little piece of organic material? I mean, not really. Eh. I'm, I, I'm sure he'll be fine. All my ammo's in there. No one else is equipped to deal with what's coming. I'm pulling Talos 1 in the dark Zero after this. You won't be able to reach me. Hopefully, we'll see each other Earthside. Goodbye, cousin. This is weird. This require. This is so much easier than I ever imagined it would be. Starting procedure. Personality capture and emulation. Source, Riley Yu. Pythias Facility Director. Target, Minerva 465, Data Vault Class Operator. Capture and transfer complete. Additional instructions found. Starting procedure, erase you dot bat. Destroy source subject.
That's still really fucked up. <laughs> it's really fucked up. I mean, the U's suck, so seeing them kill each other is kind of like whatever, but I'm just like, but, but that still really sucks though. Oh my god, that's actually worth a decent number of points, especially if I don't spend that much, which I kind of, oh yeah, I kind of did though, because I bought, five, like, oh yeah, I spent like seven, like 7,500 on the, uh, yeah, like 7,500 on the time items. Alright, VJ, you're last, and I don't know why you're so out of focus. Why is there, why are you so, why is it so dark in this picture, VJ? Anyway, so you need to escape via the mass driver, which means you need to collect some food, I believe? And I think you might have to run upstairs and press a button or something. I'm a little concerned. I don't remember the mass driver, it's like the first one I did a long time ago. I'm just gonna get a couple of these. Just in case. And... Oh, you have the propulsion system already, so I don't have to buy that. Which really skips some steps here. Uh... Next? I guess we'll just go for it. Wish me luck! This is just going smoother than I dreamed. I don't remember if I needed, uh... Yeah, I'm just- I'm kind of worried, so I'm like preemptively grabbing some control modules. I don't remember how to... Do the mass driver? I think I remembered going upstairs to fix something and that might have featured control modules. And I'm on stage five, so I just don't want to make a mistake. So I'm just gonna go ahead and buy that crap, even if I don't need to. Suit repair kit, disruptor battery, healing item, glue charge. Going for all the basic shit. Get you a good ass shotgun, a good ass pistol, all the ammo for them. Eh, don't need that right now. Uh, melee weapon. That's the four me That's the four basic ones. Uh, you can't use spare parts, I don't think. I don't know why I kept them around. Actually, that's 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 really filling up my inventory. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, it's not, it's not time to use one of these yet. Because it, it, it depletes way more meter than I have right now, I believe. Alright, so... Oh. Take that, even though I, it's probably unnecessary. Uh, I'll hold on to those just in case? We'll see. Anyway, uh, do do do. One, two, three, four. Escape mass driver. Desummon. Blood all the guns. What's my special ability again? Combat focus. Right, there's not much to you, is there? No. Yeah. I mix her up I mix him up with the other character a little bit because the other character has the turret, and the turret's awesome. And I'd rather have the turret than like anything else. Could just invest in leverage. The other one is stamina meter. Or combat focus. Let's do leverage. It's my last character. It'd be, it'd be fun if just anything that happens to get in my way, I could just pick up and be like, Get him away! That's some fun. God, he's fast. And then he can also fly. <laughs> Fiji, I missed you. I haven't used you a single time since that time I upgraded the hell out of you. And you've been so fast all, that, all this time since then. Oh my god, this is how fast he moves. And he has the shortest distance to travel, because he's going to Moonworks. And it's already open. Shotgun's probably the best choice for a character moving this fast. I'm gonna be face first into any enemy I encounter. Pistol for cystoids. But shotgun's for everyone else. Except maybe Moonshark, but I don't usually see him, but he might... I've seen Moonshark indoors like once, I think, and it was here, so... Uh, get ready. <laughs> Hope for the best. Right. If I was smarter, I would have been preemptively by picking up as many drinks as I can. Really, more Neuromods. Damn. I should have been picking up a lot of drinks. That's a bypass shit.
three, two, one. Type of material. Got one again. Another one. Fuck. <laughs> uh, it's fine. I can just hop into the window. There we go. At the very least, any drinks. Also, die, 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 die. Hehe. <laughs> I might be in trouble. I forgot it. I just forgot a shit. Shit, 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 shit. That's alcoholic. Let's play a game called, Can You Spot My Mistake? Excuse me. Excuse me. Die. Where was he? Did I get him with that? I got him with the explosion. Cool. Alright, let's see if you notice my mistake. Because it's kind of a bad one. Alright, so... Five food items, one, one bottle of anti-rads, five non-alcoholic drinks. I don't think I have any anti-rads. I'm searching my inventory real quick. That's brained pills, cookies, pomegranate, banana and shit. Man, he's gonna have feasts on the way back. Yeah, I need anti-rad pills. Problem. And maybe solution is the fact that this door is open. I might be able to craft them. Oh, for a second there, I thought they might just be there. Uh... Oh, it's so easy. It's so easy. All I need is all that stuff I just threw away a second ago. Oh, you, you don't even use Psy-Hypos, fuck it. <laughs> I put all of them in. It's a bit wasteful. Now, make it. Got it. We have fun here. Okay. Uh, the and to rad. I still have more mission to do, so let's actually be careful here. So that's five food items. That's five. Get the food items out of here. Might be able to consume those for my own uses. Anti-rad's there. That's five drinks. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Water. Oh, beer. Shit, do I not have enough drinks? Uh... Fuck. Uh, you have drinks around here? Well, I thought I had my mistake pinned down, but I didn't. Because, uh, I don't have enough non-alcoholic drinks. All the drinks are fucking alcoholic. Goddamn alcoholics, make, messing up my cool space escape mission. Shit, that was a bad trajectory. I was already falling a little bit. Hello. Hello. Do you know where they keep all of the non-alcoholic drinks? Ew. <laughs> Waggling gel. I'm moving so fast at all times right now. Unnecessary stop. Excuse me. 
Damn it. Damn it. Wine. Yeah, I got all of it, didn't I? Shit. And that's all the stuff I got from... Next, next problem is that I believe that was also all the stuff I got from all around the base, too. Warning. Air supply system malfunction. They're such, just such goddamn alcoholics. I can't craft food items, I don't think. Okay, so what is, what is, uh, what did I just do to myself? Slows health regeneration, stamina drains faster, prevents well-fed stumbling. Oh, so my walking is weird now? There might be some of this tram terminal. It's food. Brained. Hee <laughs> hee. Uh, I'm going to take this trip. Oops, that's that's rads. Okay. Is it already here? It is here. Okay. This is my main gamble. I'm like, okay, cool. This is connected to the crew annex. The crew annex is where all the people hang out. There's got to be more drinks there. Then I can just come right back. Did not think drinks were going to be my problem. And also, I gave myself radiation. <laughs> Attention, everyone. We have an extra special message today from our CEO. I should have just crafted another anti-radiation thing. CEO of Transtar and co-director of research aboard Talus One. As I sit here, comfortably aboard the greatest technological marvel humanity has ever achieved. I recognize that this station would not exist without the sustaining efforts of our sibling facility on the surface of the moon. Our helium-3 refinery alone is the lifeblood of this company. Not to Dude likes to brag. Taking place down there. Hey, this is a drink area. So I want to offer my <sighs> They're all super alcoholic, though. Uh... The moon base. When you look up, take pride and remember... Rude. Big old face full of rude. I don't need that. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, right along here, straight ahead, out of this, will be the cafeteria. Cafeteria has drinks in it, right? Fucking alcohol all day. Get out of here. I have a super gun. Go away. Fucking take a dr break from your alcoholism, you lunatics. Jesus. You guys have problems, you know that? Uh, I keep trying to pick that up for some reason. Come on, someone has to drink fucking water on the space station. I swear to god, this is a kitchen. Ah, uh, eat that. I don't care. Water. Is that enough? I think that's enough. Didn't I have three? Ah, uh, I don't even care. Eat everything. Why is there a weird corroded coil in this, in this, in this nice, uh, thing, place, words? I'm a little scatterbrained because I'm trying to move quickly. I don't know why I'm in such a hurry because honestly there's not that much risk of failure and I have a super shotgun. <laughs> I'm embracing the spirit of the thing even if it's I'm not actually that much of a hurry because I'm on the fifth character. I'm only in corruption level two and also I have items that will just fix the corruption level. Boing.
I actually should be a little worried because when last time I was rushing this hard is when the game crashed during a loading screen. <laughs> so I should probably be a little more worried about that instead. But also, I'm aware that I'm doing repeated content, and so it's good if I if I rush, it's it's more entertaining for you guys too. Because at this point, I'm just doing escapes you guys have seen before for like an hour. Excuse me. I don't know if that's not what I meant to put in there. Alright, cool. So we're all loaded up. Give me the new objective. Start the sequence. Way the hell upstairs. Okay. V v <laughs> Running a little too fast. There we go. My main goal is just to climb, basically. Until I get up there. No surprises, please. Hey, it's one of those guys. Now I'm even more suspicious that I'm, that might be necessary. Uh, grab you, put you here. Use one of you. Get out of here. He, he really comes in and out of existence like on the fly. I have a lot of neuromods again. Uh, seven again. Wow. Uh, we'll see how many more, more I get and I'll spend accordingly. Stop, stop trying to pick up those damn things. In a bit of a hurry at the moment. Don't mind me. God, he moves so fast that's really satisfying to do the sequence as him. Uh, I'm just gonna jump now. Bye bye. Boop. Boop. Uh. Shit, I can't. Throw. My mule. Alright. Well, his last one doesn't matter. Oh no, I didn't spend my neuromods. Oh. I forgot it just auto happens. It was just so satisfying to jump directly into it. That time limit's designed for him, too. He has, he's, he's the character you can upgrade the running speed of, and he's the character that starts with the propulsion system, so he'll always have it. Oh, I forgot to take the body out again. I'm sorry, buddy. Boom. Escape with five crew members in a single run. There we go. I just beat the game, I believe. We'll see if there's a epilogue. I mean, so here's the scary thing about hitting continue, guys. This whole game stars a character who themselves is the framing device. So what happens to him now? Ooh. So after I hit continue, whatever happens next is gonna be, it's like when I escaped as, as uh, Morgan in the main game, and then we find out the real context of everything. We kind of already know the real context this time around, but, like, they're going to deal with that framing device, right? It's not going to just roll credits now, so, let's see. Poor guy. Oh, here it comes. Peter, this has to be shot. I want to thank you for all you've done. You don't have much time, so good luck to you. What do I not have much time for? What's gonna happen? Ah. Peter, we've never spoken. I'm the OC at Casmacorp overseeing your unit. Basilisk reports to me. You've done brilliant work for us. Thank you. 
Unfortunately, budgets are tight and we just can't afford to pick you up. We're going to honor the contract, though, and send your completion bonus to your family. Thank you again, Peter. We'll make it quick. Fuck. We'll make it quick? All right, well, we're going up here, then. They set this up already before. Oh, I'm out of oxygen. Shit. Shit. Am I doing the right thing? Uh... It's gonna take a long time to go that way, isn't it? Trip to Earth. Okay. Platform? Uh... Am I doing the right thing right now? I don't- I'm... Shit. Ow. I guess I did the wrong thing. Okay, so we don't... Okay, there's a- there's a- okay, that. Okay, I've got a helmet on. <laughs> That's what I was supposed to do. Okay, I was worried that it was gonna be an all or nothing like you... Like, whatever happens, you just live with. But no, you just- you can mess up and then just go back to it. Okay. So there goes my risk. I guess. Now I'm just okay. I just had to get that helmet. My bad. Okay, so I have to do this check again. Actually, I probably just had to do that. Didn't I get- didn't I get that command key from... Yeah. I'm trying to remember where I got... Uh, initiate Lunar Decommission. Cast my space platform. I already tried Earth. I think I got the command key from Wu. Like, she put it inside the machine, the robot thing. And then I've been monitoring that. Because that's where all the information came from. Yeah. This operation's terminal. That's what's gonna happen. The real me is gonna have to go down to the... That's interesting. The the real me now has to go down, down to the moon. the irony of the idea that he then has to try to escape from the same place that he was escaping from over and over again but now for real or something and there's a this there appears to be a shuttle there that works or something so I guess he can do it I just couldn't help but feel like oh I'm about to play the ending now 
where like the final level is you escape as the real guy and you have to play as him and maybe the situation's harder or things have moved around a little bit because the simulation's not accurate or you have to figure out which escape didn't actually get used by someone because you have to escape that way and stuff like that but now it's just rolling credits and I guess it's over huh all right <laughs> so pray moon crash very it's very neat uh as a way of returning to a game that's almost entirely identical to the main game of Prey, it's I think it's valid that they sh they remixed it in this fun way. Uh, it is also kind of a way of making a, s a smaller area last way longer for the sake of uh, a DLC and stuff like that. But oh, I I think my takeaway is that overall I enjoy this this change of approach, but I would pref I still prefer the normal. This is the normal version of this genre. I do like building up a character over the course of a campaign and maybe building them a bit, a bit slower, whereas these characters could be built shockingly fast at times, but also everything you hit, everything besides your neuromods was lost in neuromods and recipes. Uh, the constant remixing is a little weird. I, I kind of miss reading all the emails and stuff like that and not having such a time crunch, but overall it's a really cool different approach to the same game and I'm happy I played it and happy they made it. This was really cool. Enjoy the music. Thanks for watching like always, guys, and I'll see you next time. You ruined everything! So judging by that ending, he escaped to Earth, and then it turned out a Mimic cloned his doll, so that means that he's... At the very least, he brought Typhon to Earth. Maybe other ones did already? At this point, there are, that's that's at least one... Let's see. In the first Prey, I think you can... You can canon you can stop every single canonical infection of Earth, technically, and but no matter what, it somehow finds a way down there. Uh, like every ending you can do, I think something is going. I think that uh, no, I guess it's not worth analyzing. In the main game of Prey, I think every single potential way of infecting Earth is a thing you can stop one by one. But no matter what, it turns out it was all a simulation, and Earth's infected already, so get fucked. Uh, but this is the first time. Uh, this is the most time we've ever spent outside of a simulation because all of Prey was in a simulation except the ending. This one, this game, uh, most of it was in simulations, but every time we played as that guy it was not a simulation, presumably, unless, unless we're going to inception the ship and there's simulations within simulations. Uh, and his ending seems to, no matter what, end with him infecting Earth. So at the very least, he's partially responsible but maybe several characters are. And now we know why they were w Now we know why they uh, kill all the volunteers on purpose. Uh, it's pretty fucked up, the whole volunteer thing, but the part where they... The part where they kill them on purpose makes some sense because this is so volatile that it l does literally end the world. But you know what else would stop us from ending the world? Uh, Talos and Kazma and all these assholes just not doing what they're doing because they're horrible. Although I think... Was Earth messed up? 
I forget, there's a whole alternate history where like different things happened around the Cold War time and stuff like that, but I don't remember its exact implications anymore, because it's been a little while. Anyway, see you guys next time.